Hi guys, how's it going? So this time I have brought in slightly different aspect and a different tool that you might want to learn. We are talking about Figma. We have been talking about graphic design and video editing lately, but there is a small nuance which I love about Figma. It is about UI and UX and the ease of designing. I have been a designer for a long time and uh, very recently I got involved in Figma projects and I absolutely love it. So I thought might as well create a probably a video on Figma but then I realized why not do something better. So I have been working on a project myself which I call Linder which looks something like this. You probably not get the idea from over here but think of it this way. Instead of applying on jobs by clicking buttons, if you had an option of swiping for jobs for left and right, wouldn't you do that? So that's the idea. Of course, I'm not asking if you're looking for jobs or not, but again, if you had that option, why not go ahead for that? So based on that idea, I created an own prototype. I've been working on something and uh, I've learned a lot of Figma in that time span. So it looks something like this. So I do have a card over here and the card can be swiped to the left or card can be swiped towards the right. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So what I want to do is all of these things that I've learned across creating this entire prototype, I want to create a series of it as well. So there's going to be a list of 10 videos that we are going to be working on. And throughout these 10 videos, I'll be talking about multiple facets of Figma and help you learn Figma so that you can get started with UI UX design. Well, talking about UX, we do have a course which is dedicated entirely to user experience. This is one that we have published very recently and we are going to be adding more contents to it on a very regular basis. This is about user experience and this is a certification course. So by the end of the course that you do complete, you will be able to get a certificate. Isn't that great? So go ahead, register on that course and let's get started with learning Figma. Well, in this video, we're going to be taking about 30 seconds to create our first prototype. We're going to get started with Figma, assuming everything is uh, everything is up and running. And we will create the first button clicking color changing prototype that will give you the idea of what Figma feels like. So let's get started. I have Figma open over here. I have this as the final output. Let me just show you very quickly what we're going to be creating. If I hit uh, shift and space, I open a preview panel over here and here is something. If I click on the button change, it ends up changing the color over here. This is what we're going to be creating. So it's a button that ends up changing. Okay, so great. How do we get started? Let's create a new file and a new design file. Assuming you have Figma, if you do not have Figma, uh, go online, register, sign up for Figma and you can do this on the browser as well. That's the great part about Figma, isn't it? You do not need the software to be installed on the system to use it. You can go ahead, use it on the browser, Chrome, Brave, Opera, whatever it is, right? So let's get started. I am on the screen, so 30 seconds starts now. Click F, drag a frame, or create a frame, something like this. Create a rectangle by over here, selecting this. Let's keep it in the center. Now let's change the color of this one. Now here is red. Now I will create another rectangle which is going to be the button and the text inside it goes change. So here's the, here's my basic idea, right? So you have a simple rectangle uh, which is the color over here uh, and you have this frame, frame is going to be uh, what you're going to be looking at. It's like canvas whether you're looking at it in Photoshop or like a artboard if you're looking at it in Illustrator. So that's what frame is, right? Now within the frame we have a button over here that we have created which is just a rectangle and a text together. Okay, all good. Let's resume. So here is my first frame. I will duplicate this by holding Alt and dragging another version of it and we'll make another one just like that right over here. So here's my third button. And now I will change the color of this one from red to blue and the last one from red to let's say green. Okay, and we're good. So what we've done over here is we have created three different frames. Now all of these different frames are going to be moving from one to the other. How will that happen? There's something called the prototype button over here. This is what we're going to be exploring next, right? So all this while we were in design. So in this interface, we'll now move to the prototyping aspect. So once I do have this prototype, I 
click on this button over here, you can see this small plus, drag and bring it up over here. See on click, navigate to frame two and we can use a smart dissolve, okay? Again, for this one, well, everything is good. And for this one as well, I'd want it to come back over here. Is it that simple? What we did just was create a interaction between those buttons and the different frames. So when I click on this change, it should go to the next frame. And then when I click the change over here, then it should go again to the next frame. Isn't that simple? Okay. So all of this said, let's do a preview. I can do a preview by uh, hitting shift and space. That's what I'm going to be doing over here. And there it is. Let's see if that works. So if I hit change and see that the color changes. Right. So that's what Figma is. Figma is very similar to Photoshop or Illustrator, but it lets you do interactions between those different art booths. That is something that is not uh, possible in any of the Photoshop or Adobe tools because those are not primed for UI UX except Adobe XD. Adobe XD, which is designed for designing interfaces and user experiences. So this is what our Figma first file was. We have created a simple button over here that ends up changing the color of the rectangle over there. Now you can do much more with it. You can probably change the color of this box over here as well. You can add more text. You can even move these elements somewhat, something like this, and then try again. Right, so you see that that button change ends up just shifting between different frames. That is the basic philosophy of what Figma is. Well, I hope that was useful. Why don't you go ahead, try this out by yourself, apply your own frame and create a new design. If you did not understand, why don't you watch the video again for those 30 seconds and replicate it exactly as what I've done over here. This is just the starting point. I want you to get used to Figma. Over the next couple of videos, we're going to be talking about the intricacies of the entire aspect of UI UX design, and we will learn about how Figma supports in all of those things. Well, I will find you in the next video. Make sure that you subscribe so that you can get the update of when the next video is up. I will see you in that one.